Back in December, I traveled to Bangladesh. I was invited by Jerome Jar and the Love Army that have done great work in Mexico and Somalia. I traveled to Bangladesh and it was a very difficult trip for me for many, 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 many reasons. It was three flights to get there, the time difference. But what I witnessed, I can't possibly explain to all of you what I saw and what I felt being there and witnessing these people and what they were suffering. The video that I took, and please forgive me, I did a horrible job of filming because it's not easy traveling around the world and telling a story while holding a camera and being in the moment and not worrying about the technicalities of holding the camera and making sure that everything's working. You are also though experiencing a kind of life that you never imagined people would be having on the other side of the world. And so this is their reality. So this was day two because on day one, I arrived and five minutes later, we headed to the refugee camp. I couldn't film that day. It was impossible for me because of my emotions. I tried so hard not to to show my emotions. I wanted to be just part of the team. So this is me trying to sound positive because as you know, we always try to put a positive spin on everything we do uh, as AB family. I was here yesterday. This is gonna be my second day in the camp. I couldn't vlog the first day. I was really, really overwhelmed by what I saw. I'm headed to the camp now and I want to show you guys what's happening there, how many beautiful kids are there. I'm hoping I get to play with them today, spend some time with them. The people have been great there welcoming the Love Army. Jerome Jar has done an amazing job of raising, I think we're at one and a half million right now, hoping to get to two million. I don't think my work is done here. I really want to come back to Bangladesh and do more for them. So let's go, I think the team is already downstairs. So the camp is just rows and rows and hundreds and thousands of these tiny little huts that people live in, covered in plastic. They cook in there and so the fumes are not healthy for them. Hello. 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 The kids would follow us everywhere we went. There were a few creators that were invited. These are the paths, the hills that they travel on. It was so steep, so dangerous. And the kids were just having a ball with us. They thought it was so interesting to see people from another country. I love you. 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 Okay, this morning I knew I was going to visit the orphanage. I knew it was going to be a difficult experience. This is me trying to not show my tremendous sadness because I knew where I was going. I was going to visit these children that had experienced a lot, a lot of horrible things, and they actually drew images of them to express how they were feeling. Uh, but on the plus side, they are getting counseling, mental health counseling to help them cope with what they've experienced so that they can move forward and try to create happiness in their own life. Day three of being here in Cox Bazar, Bangladesh. And today is gonna be the most challenging day of all. I'm going to visit the orphans. Apparently there's 40,000 orphans here in a camp of 800,000, a million people. 40,000 orphans is hard to imagine. And so I know this is gonna be difficult, however, I want to be a source of joy for these kids. They've been through so much. They've experienced things that no human should experience, especially a child should never experience. And so I want to go there and offer them lots of hugs and kisses and uh, to let them know that there are people who care for them and want the best for them. I am taking you along and I hope that this will be as powerful for you as it is for me. We've arrived in Balokoli. Bangladesh and um, we're just waiting to be escorted to the orphanage. They want to make sure that all the visitors are checked in to ensure the safety of the children and so I'm here with what seems like tons of people who are waiting for nutrition and so I just would love to show you what this looks like. These children and women are waiting for food. 
This actually turned out to be one of the smaller shelters where people were waiting for food. These are all mothers and their children and uh, expectant moms. There were just thousands and thousands and thousands of people. They don't have centers to educate on family planning. They don't have that. I didn't see any books. I didn't see any libraries. On our way to the orphanage now, these are all refugees here from Myanmar. All of these people, there are so many people here, it's overwhelming to see the number of them. They have so little in the camp. There, there was nothing. They need help. Hello. Hello. This is how the women and children are crossing over what seems like garbage. It's just a massive pile of waste. These are the kids in the orphanage. They were so friendly. They were laughing, they were smiling. They were so curious. They were curious about me and about my camera. They are absolutely gorgeous, these kids. And they were so open to give me hugs. These are the children that are orphaned that are here at the refugee camp. They've lost their parents. These are the faces of the orphans. This is what they look like. They're the most beautiful children I've ever seen. And look at their beautiful smiles and their beautiful faces. Here it is, the children in the orphanage. This has been a life-changing experience for me. I hope that I've been able to share with you images, pictures, and videos so that you too can associate with these victims. They're not faceless victims, they're here. They're right here and they've been through so much. Luckily, there's a lot of organizations here that are offering them a lot of help, a lot of counseling to understand what's happened, to process it, and to hopefully move forward. Thank you for sharing on this journey with me. I wish I didn't have to make videos like this. Thank you. So my goal is to continue to help Jerome Jar with the money that they need to continue to build for these people, to help them out of the situation that they are in where they can't work, they don't have any papers. We want to help them and we want to help them to continue to build more places for kids to get an education where they can play together, where they can feel safe, where there's shade from the sun because it was so hot there. I am personally hoping to return back to Bangladesh this year so that our family can purchase books so that we can make a library for the kids because I didn't see any books while I was there. And so they need libraries, they need schools, they need hospitals. Here it is, here's the link. Please donate, please, please, please. Thank you so much for watching this video. These videos are very near and dear to my heart. I want to continue to inspire change in our world so that together we can make peace possible. I love you.